look at that, I can still do it. <laughs> Welcome, folks, this is TFNN. <laughs> we go seven days a week. We go, tw we go 24 hours a day. Yeah, we go 24 hours a day. We go seven days a week. Market. Market-wise out here, what we're doing is this. We have the Dow Industrials up 99, Nasdaq's up 161, S&Ps are up 29. Gold. Gold contract up $2.30, trading out at 1945 an ounce. We have silver up 19 cents, $23.36 an ounce, light sweet crude. Down 27 cents, $87.24 a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten-year note. Down three ticks, trading at 109.26. The 30 there down 14 at 109, uh, 119.04. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 520 ticks, 104.570. Euro is at 107. Yen's trading at the price point of 146. And the British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Oh, no, we got to read the dark card. My God, I got off kilter here. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, what you really are, will be manifested through what you say each and every day. And, you know, it's 9-11. If you, you know, something that you could uh, go on demand um, 60 Minutes had the full hour last night. They had done a program two years ago, and there's full hour on 9-11, on the firefighters, on the first responders. About as intense as you can get. And, you know, the bravery and heroics and all of the above. I don't even know if there's that many people that are that heroic around anymore, to tell you the truth. Um, but I'm sure there are. That's what, you know. Anyway, it was an amazing program. I remember it last time. I watched it last night. And, you know, you know, a lot of hurt out there. There's no doubt about it. And then on, now this is kind of cool. You know, that part, you know, is life. That's what life is, right? That's how it goes. Now, what I got, check this out. This is so cool. I talked to Nancy Rolfs last week. And it's so applicable. This came in overnight today and it's taps okay so i'm going to read what they wrote about bud rolfs this is from the west point in the next section um you know this is this is pretty cool but anyway so the next section we're going to read about that uh what they were saying about bud rolfs spy what do they have with the spy out here so the spy is doing 41 million shares they're at 448.51 you have volume right now 41 million now if we go to the futures, this market's telling me it's going to hold price right now. Because the highs, to me, still want to get hit because of the fact that there's no more sellers at the lows. Again, that's just, you know, that's, there was, the, the volume was really low. So you can see, when we always talk about where the volume is, well, you had volume right off the bat this morning. And then it gave it up. Now it's going to go try to reach that high again, which is the 4493. Right now you're at 4491. We've got to take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup inside the Qs. What we have the Qs out here is that the, the Qs actually have more. Well, two different things ended up happening with the Qs. The Qs didn't retrace as much as the SPY, which is saying that the Qs are more powerful than the SPY, stronger. And the Qs are going to have more volume than Friday, which I don't think the, you know, the SPY won't. It's, it's, we did 35 million on the Qs Friday. We're going to do a lot more than that. We're at 31 already. Now, granted, we're going into 42, but we might even make 42. And if we make 42, your probability goes a lot higher that you're going to go right into these highs. We take a look at the NQs. Yeah, see, the NQs, you can say, this is so cool when you look at different indices. And you can see who has the strength. I mean, look at this. The NQs already took out the highs that the S&P is trying to get up to. You know, the, the, the high in the NQ versus the S&P was that, uh, that 15,000, what's that, 540, 646. Well, we're at 15,676. We're, we're blowing that away. We go to the uh, note and bond market. Take, take a look at note and bonds, okay? So inside the note and bond market, This is a good setup, meaning what I mean by a good setup is that your bonds, note, to me, note and bonds have topped out. 
Now look at this. This is really cool, man. So first we came off the lows with a couple signs of strength. We pulled back, and as we pulled back, we pulled back last Wednesday, Thursday, try to go higher Friday. Wednesday, you did 1.4 million. Thursday, 1.2. Well, today you're doing 839,000 in rejected low, and it's going into 2.7 million. Higher price is coming at us. Higher price, lower yield. We go to the good old dollar, because it's still all about the dollar, but the dollar, well, the bonds are ringing the dollar. You know, the dollar's ringing the market, the bonds are ringing the market. And what you have with the dollar, that this has been the magic number for quite some time, and we'll see whether, you know, number one, can we close below it today? And can we get some follow through? You know, and it's so applicable that I'm gonna do this memorial on Bud coming up the next section because this is the channel master, man. You know, bottom line, broke, come up and went back inside the range again. Now, what would end up happening here, this would be called, you go inside the range, that'd be a false break. Normally when there's a false break, you can turn, and if, and if you get follow through in the turn, it'll be a very large turn because it's very unusual that, number one, you do such a small retracement because the dollar did a very small retracement. So that's saying that the dollar is very powerful. Got back up there, couldn't hold it, then come back down. The reason I'm saying that the it normally would end up happening, people would be piling and buying at this particular point. Now, if you look at the larger action and the dollar, though, see the larger action, the dollar has still been in a downtrend. You know, this has been a heck of a run for the dollar, but when you take a look at it, you're gonna see that all it's really done is that, you know, it's been coming up to its highs, and in fact, if this is it, what you're gonna have here is that you're gonna have three lower lows and two lower highs. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 82. Nasdaq's up 157. S&P's up 27. We'll come right back.